Today we are checking out the OPT or Opt7 running board lights. Uh, I actually saw these things on Instagram and I thought they kind of looked cool so I got on Amazon, looked around to see what I could find and I found these. Picked these things up for like 35 bucks to add them to my truck. Um, it's just something I just thought looked cool and I wanted to add. It allows your truck to have like uh, running board lights that blink and they turn white whenever you open your doors. So that was something that I kind of wanted to add to my truck just because I thought it looked cool. So today I kind of want to take you along as I go through the process of installing these into my 2018 Ram 2500 truck. But if you guys are interested in picking up a set of these lights, I will have a link in the description. It takes you right over to Amazon where you can pick these things up. It's actually a pretty simple end install there's only about four wires to hook up uh, there's really no screws to do because the lights actually mount with some 3m tape and you're able to run the wires i did have to drill one hole in the truck to be able to install these and you'll see that as we go through this process so the first thing i'm going to do here is start getting the area clean that i'm going to be sticking the lights to the lights come with like a 3m tape on the back of them to uh, stick it to the surface. So you wanna make sure the surface is very clean for that to stick to. And the way I do it is I get it just a little bit peeled back to start where I'm gonna stick it on there. And then as I go, I peel a little more. So we're gonna start the process of running these wires the three wires is going to be, red is going to be for your run lights, yellow is going to be your blinker, and then black is going to be your ground. These ram trucks inside the wheel well, there is an access point to the blinker. You just pull that back and you can reach in there and you can grab that blinker light. Spin it and then it pulls right out. And after testing it here, we can see that the middle one is showing 12 volts, so that means my run light is my middle one. Uh, there is another uh, white wire to the right of that, so that'll be my blinkers. There's a black wire, and that'll be the ground. Uh, black is commonly ground, but uh, don't always depend on that because. Sometimes they use other colors, but most commonly black is your ground. I've got to reach up in there and get a hold of those wires that aren't really long enough. And we've got these little wire splices. This allows you to splice a wire into the middle of a wire. So we're gonna be putting these on there. So the small wire of the actual lights will go into one side. You'll put that over the existing wire and you'll clamp that down and that'll give you that connection that you need. These are kind of those things that you have to have just right. So my suggestion here is it will tell you that you're supposed to close this door, use that door to close in that metal piece. I don't do that. I get my wires all in there in place and then I'll use a pair of needle nose and I'll grab a hold of it and I'll just push the metal part down. And then once I have that all the way into the wire, then I close the little door to cover it up. These things are pretty simple to use. Sometimes they don't get a great connection, so you gotta be real careful with that. So you can kinda see it there. There's the plug. I go to the back of those two wires and use those crimps and crimp that wire in there. It definitely doesn't look pretty, but it will be tucked in kinda behind everything. Nobody will ever see it. So now we'll get the blinker installed back in the truck, and then we'll check the lights. So that's it, working with the blinker, and then if I turn the blinker off and just leave the run lights on, it will uh, just light up orange. Now once we get the white wire hooked up, what will happen is every time you open the door, the white light will come on, which will make the yellow or orange lights turn off. My truck, what we have is right up underneath here. You can see right here, there is uh, what they call a courtesy light. There's a wire right here that we can tap into and uh, get power for the white light down here. So every time one of these courtesy lights turns on, 
which turn on every time you open the door, it'll turn that white light on. First thing we gotta do is get this kick plate out of the way. And you just kind of give it a pull. And it's got these little snaps on there and they'll snap right out. Now we're gonna kind of pull the carpet back. Kind of find an area of where we can come through the floor. Just make sure that you're checking underneath the truck as well because whenever you drill through this, you don't want to hit like a fuel line or hit a different pocket or wires or cables, anything that could be running down underneath the truck. So even though it's clear up here, make sure it's clear underneath as well before you shoot your uh, drill through there. So that is it guys, that is the install of these lights. It's really a pretty simple install. There's only about four wires you have to attach. Uh, the only problem I had was getting to those wires at the headlight. Uh, it's a really tight fit for me. Uh, you guys hopefully will have an easier time if your truck is set up a little different than this one. Uh, these newer trucks, they get so tight in there where they just kind of jam pack everything into one little spot. One of the things that I'm not really sure about is that constant glow of orange light underneath the truck. It wouldn't be hard to stop that. All I'd have to do is get underneath there, uh, cut the red wire, uh, and tape that thing back. That would actually stop the use of those running lights so those wouldn't glow. Uh, you'd still get the white light whenever you open the door and you'd still get the blinking light of the blinkers whenever they're going. Now that I actually like. I really love the blinker look of it. It really lets that person uh, coming up on you know that you're coming over or that you're signaling to come over. So I really like that part. I really like the white light whenever you open the door. It really lights up the area. But I just wasn't fond of that orange glow underneath constantly while you're driving. But uh, I'd like to hear some feedback from you guys. What do you think? Would you leave it or would you turn it off? So make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you would do. But guys, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.